I was driving my Nissan truck the other day and it started doing a little <clears throat> like it was running out of fuel. Eventually stalled. Wendy had to tow me home. Here's a video of it. I suspected it was a fuel issue and being that the truck is 25 years old, discovered that it wasn't getting the fuel that it's supposed to and so dropped the tank and quickly realized that the uh, fuel pump was in order. fat ass can't fit underneath here so first thing we gotta do is get this up on some jack stands or ramps or something let's try ramps Tank. I think these three nuts to come out. Let's see what the front looks like. They're looking pretty crusty, and I'm gonna spray them down with some PV blaster. Now it looks like if I take the back bolts out, it's gonna drop down, and this lip is sitting on a frame rail, like a shelf. So it's got to come back and come down and back. So I'm debating whether I should remove these. Maybe I'll take two out of the three out. Let's Still got to undo the filler neck and take a look to see what other lines I have that might obstruct it. I just, I just kind of jumped into this. Totally unprepared. That's how I roll. If you ever wondered why you need a 17 millimeter socket for just that for the purpose, I think this is the first time I ever had to use a 17 millimeter. Once you get that guard off, looks like there's two more 17 millimeter sockets holding the tank. Missed the bolt. There's one right up in there. For the tank, you have one bolt, two bolts, three bolts in that little hole. We're gonna take these three crusty screws out. I think I'm ready to drop the tank, but I'm not gonna drop it all the way down to the ground. I'm gonna rest it on a milk crate or something. Or maybe a jack. I'll get a jack and lower it down real slow. Filler neck. And you see this plastic shield's gotta come off. Looks like there's two eight millimeter nuts right there. Tried for about 20 minutes to get this bolt off. Eight millimeters too small, nine millimeters too big. Clean it up. I discovered it's a Phillips. Boy, do I feel stupid. Much better. Right, so there's two, one here, one here, and one way at the top up there. But one appears to be stuck on the filler neck. All right, so once you got the tank hanging by its nads, you can see the uh, fuel lines up there you can undo. And those things look rusty and crusty. I think that's what's uh, holding it up. So we're gonna get a screwdriver on there and got the tank out. I just gotta take these nuts off. First, I'm gonna clean this stuff up. I'm gonna clean with some PB blaster. This way it'll lubricate it as it cleans it. Yeah, everything in there is rusty, crusty. Seems to be a wire running to the bottom of the tank. We could unplug it up here. Yeah, I think this is a problem. 
see how brown and gross that is. Yeah, we're gonna pour this in the gas can and run it through the mower. I got that big plastic tray unclipped from the bottom there, just these little clips that it just snaps in. Doesn't fit out the hole. How they got it in there, I don't know. So what I'm able to do is take this wire brush and reach my arm down in here and just brush the all around the tank sucked all the crap out with Mr. Thirsty here and got it looking pretty pretty spiffy. Got the new pump on the old sending unit, cleaned it up as best as I could. And now we're getting ready to pop it on in there. Let me tell you this pump was a direct fit. Last piece of the puzzle came in, it's this new Spectra Premium L019. It was uh, $7, which is a lot of money for an O-ring and some screws. But it fits up here. It's sealed underneath here. I'm going to use the screws that came out of it. Th this is the new one. And it's Phillips. And this is the one that came out of it. And you can't tell. But it's Phillips and it's hex head too. Since it's too hard to put this on the screws, I'm just going to put a little dab of anti-seize on there and hope it'll get to where it needs to go. Eight millimeter on the money. Well, I couldn't find a torque spec on it, so I'm just going to do the German method of good and tight. That is one fuel pump done. Let's go clean up this mess I made and put this bad boy in. Installation should be in reverse. If I come across any problems, I'll film it. If not, that's that. Well, there you have it. And that was one rusty, crusty gas tank and fuel pump. Uh, I've been having a little bit of a stuttering problem. I wasn't sure if it was a wiring issue or what. Now I know. This vehicle sat for about six years and all that condensation of the gas tank heating up and cooling down and just created con. Can't see my hands. Heating up, cooling down created condensation and that's what rusted the tank out. That happened it'll happen to any metal tank that's been sitting for years. But if you got something that's been sitting, plan on replacing a fuel pump. I knew this day was gonna come. I was hoping it would be way later. Never buy a house near the airport. I got some time to kill. Uh, check out my podcast, 10 minute off-road podcast. It's a podcast for the off-roader with a short attention span. That's why it's only 10 minutes long. I'll put a card up here somewhere for it. There's about 50 of them, so you can almost listen for a whole hour of me just droning on about off-road stuff. If you have some time to kill, check out this video. I don't know what it's about. It, it, it might be Nissan D21 related. It might be Jeep related. Who knows? Or it could just be me walking around the house in my boxers. Cause that's the programming you want to see, I know. I can't see my finger guns. Don't like that video? Check out that one. That's a good one, too. All right. Thanks for watching.